What about reaction number two? When we go to try reaction number two, the ammonium ion would combine with the nitrate ion and the copper with bromide. So we go to our solubility chart and check the states of matter on ammonium nitrate and copper two bromide. Ammonium nitrate, anything with nitrate, anything with nitrate is going to be soluble. So our ammonium nitrate's state of matter would be AQ, aqueous. What about our copper with our bromide? What a lot of people accidentally do here is they see bromide and they see copper here, bromide with copper, insoluble. So a lot of people in number two accidentally predict that the Cu, the copper bromide, is going to be a solid. The problem is, is that the kind of copper that's insoluble is the copper plus one kind. And if you look at this reaction over here, and I asked you to name CuNO32, this is copper Roman numeral two nitrate. Since copper Roman numeral two nitrate is, this means that, that this is the plus two kind of copper. Only the plus one kind of copper is insoluble with bromide. Copper plus two with bromide would be aqueous. So because we'd have both of our products be aqueous, it would look like a situation like we did in class the other day. That ammonium nitrate and copper two bromide products are fake. We never actually make them because when you get the situation where both reactants and both products are aqueous, when you do your complete and your net ionic equation, everything would cancel out. No reaction for number two.